Hey guys, and welcome to Happy Rider Reviews. In today's video, we are taking a closer look at the newest and latest projector from BenQ. This is the GV11, the free angle projector. This is the first projector that I've ever got my hands on that does not require you to actually put it on top of a bookshelf or put it on a table or hang it on your ceiling if you don't want to because pretty much it can angle the projection anywhere you want it to, guys. How amazing and simple is that? And check this out, guys. This is a all-in-one projector. It projects out the movie, it has built-in speakers, and a built-in battery. That means you can bring this with you anywhere you want to go, whether it be indoor or outdoor. And check this out, guys. Here is the iPhone 11 Pro Max right next to it. As you can see, it is not that much bigger than the iPhone 11 Pro Max, which is amazing. So here's the box ship and delivered into us. And in here, the first thing you'll find is the carrying pouch right here. And in here, you can bring everything with you wherever you want to go. And last of all, you also have this box here inside of this little box. And this is the BenQ Android TV 10, which allows you to mirror your iPhone or simply mirror your Android devices, computer, laptop, tablet, everything you want on your devices onto the projector directly. And guys, they are currently doing a very nice promotion at the moment. If you are going to purchase this before the end of the month, you are going to save up to $150 off your purchase. And you also get a free pillow along with a blanket to get all warmed up to watch your movies. So I will leave the link to where you can get that special deal right now in the description box down below. So make sure you click that link and check it out. Now let's go ahead and take a closer look at all the things that we get inside of this bag. Go ahead and unzip it. Here's your base, your remote control, all the instructional manual and thank you cord, warranty cord. You also get two AAA batteries for your remote control. Your power cable along with three different heads. This is for the United States because I live in the US. And if you are in other countries, you can use these two heads to exchange for this, which means you can be in anywhere in the world and still use this projector. And last of all, you have your beautiful BenQ GV11 angle-free projector. Now, here are the three main components that you will need to set up before doing anything. First of all, here is a closer look at the base. This is what you are going to place your projector on. So let's take a quick look at the bottom here. You have this anti-slippery pads on all four sides, which is really nice. That way when you place it on a table, it doesn't move or slide even if you were to place it on a tilted uh, surface. So let's go ahead and place this onto the base, just like that, guys. And now you can place this projector on the floor, on the table, wherever you want, guys. And all you have to do is simply swivel it back and forth to have the perfect projection. You can even project it onto the ceiling, guys, or onto any wall you want. Really, really cool. Now to the second most important thing is you go ahead and take this Android TV out of this little box right here, and you will have to install and put this inside of your projector. So this is how you're going to insert into the projector. Go ahead and take a closer look on the side where you have this uh, knob right here. Simply push it forward, and this will remove. And this is where the stick is going to go. Now, the first thing you're going to do is go ahead and connect the micro USB cable onto the stick. Once you do that, go ahead and plug it into its HDMI port. Just like that, guys. And now you are ready to put the cover back on. Just do the opposite. Put it in and push it back. Just like that. Now for a closer inspection of the actual projector itself. So on this side, you have the speaker vent right here and the fan vent. Down here, you have your audio out, a standard USB 2.0, a HDMI port, and the charging port. In the front, you have the BenQ brand right there along with the lens. Over on this side, you have your focus knob, your speaker vent, and the fan vent as well. On the back, you have another speaker vent. Now inside here, you have a five watt speaker made by Trevelo, which sounds pretty good considering its size. Now you can use this projector as a Bluetooth speaker, or you can just use it as a movie projector, or you can use it as both, however way you want. Now on top, as you can see, you do have this carrying thing right here that will allow you to simply carry this projector with one finger at ease, as you can see. 
Now above, you have your power button, volume down, volume up, and Bluetooth connectivity button. As for your remote control, again, it does come with two AAA batteries, so all you have to do is remove the cover here and put in the two battery that comes with it. And on the front, thanks to the Android TV stick that comes with the projector, you can watch everything, guys, from Prime Video to Netflix, Hulu, or you can simply use your mobile device, tablet, computer, or laptop to shoot everything you want to see directly from any of your devices and mirror it over to the projector itself, which is really, really convenient. So on the remote control, you have the power button, autofocus, or manual focus, and a quick prime video button. The right, left, up, down selection, OK button in the middle, back, home, setting, voice command because it does have a built-in microphone right here, menu, projector, mute button, and volume up and down. And lastly, if you ever happen to lose your remote control or if you just really don't want to use a remote control, you can actually download the BenQ Smart Controller app on your Apple or Android devices and control everything directly from your mobile devices. And here is the projector on, guys. Look really good for a projector that only has 200 NC lumens and project up to 480 pixels. Now, you can play any videos, even up to 4K videos, but the projector Will put out maximum of 480p and for that being said it actually showed really well as you can see so i'm about eight foot back from the wall right now according to the specs of the projector if you are 5.5 foot back you should see about a 60 inch screen and 6.5 foot back you should get about a 70 inch screen and 7.5 foot back you should get about an 80 inch screen projection now right now what you're looking at right now is about a 90 inch projection so let's go ahead and head right into youtube as you can see right here i'm using the remote control right now but as you can see, you can also get access to Prime Amazon videos, Hulus, and you can also download even more apps such as Netflix and play it directly on the projector, which is really, really cool. Now, if you don't want to use this uh, app on the projector itself, then you can absolutely project any videos directly from your phone over to this projector. So let's go ahead and head to YouTube. And I'm gonna quickly play a video that I made that way I can avoid all of the uh, you know YouTube uh, copyrights. What's going on, guys? So in front of me, this is the uh, Benzai Adventure Club water park. I have been owning this for the uh, past five years now, I believe, and it is still in you know backlit condition. Everything still works perfectly. We use it every single year. The love, uh, the kids love it. And after five years, guys, everything still works perfectly. It has two water slides, one on the right and another on the left. You have to set up all the water. So the audio you are hearing right now comes directly from the speaker inside of the projector, guys. So let me go ahead and swivel the projector up and down to show you how fast the projector can actually auto-focus. As you can see it, guys, it auto focus within like a second or two, which is really, really cool. So again, you can even project it up towards the ceiling or down the floor, however way you want, and it'll automatically focus and adjust all the four sides. That way it'll match and show you a evenly projected screen. Really, really cool. Hey guys, so in front of me, I have the latest version of the Intex Explorer K2 Kayak. Now, lately I've been falling in love with inflatable boats, so I figured why not try out an inflatable kayak. So here it is guys, super cool, easy and fast to set up, and best of all, it doesn't break the bank account. So this is probably going to be one of the most thorough video you are going to find on this kayak on YouTube. I'm going to do my best to cover everything that I found other YouTubers left out. That now, one thing I want to mention when it comes to the speaker that is built into this projector, guys, it is really good considering its price and its size. So you can really use this as a portable speaker if you want, but it works beautifully together with the projector, guys. And with the built-in Android TV version 10, everything runs very smoothly on this projector. And so far, I love everything about it. Check this out, guys. So this mini, tiny little projector right here, you can pretty much carry it with you anywhere you want. And look at it, guys. Look how good it shows. I can go up onto the ceiling. I can go onto the floor. And are you seeing how fast it auto-focus? It is amazing. And right now, I'm actually backed up about 11 foot away. 
and you're seeing probably over a hundred inch screen right now and it's still super super clear considering what it has really really awesome check out how fast the auto keystone is guys that's just amazing So you can really just lay on your bed and leave this on the floor, project it on the ceiling and just watch away. With all that being said, guys, I highly recommend this projector. Check it out. Links will be in the description. Thanks everyone for watching and I will see you all in the next video.